Welcome to my channel again. This video is about Parijat plant which is also popularly known as night blooming jasmine, the tree of sadness and coral jasmine. Scientific name is Nyctanthes arbortistis. Nyctanthes means night flower and arbortistis means sad tree. The fragrance of its flowers is like jasmine but it is not a true jasmine. In different parts of India, it is known by different names like Horsinger, Parijat, Parijato, Parijatok, Parijatokam, Sewali, Shifali, etc. It is a small deciduous tree attaining a height up to 10 meter with drooping four angle branchlets and very rough leaves like teak. It is very popular tree in India for its ornamental bellows, medicinal bellows and due to its cultural and mythological importance. It is the state flower of West Bengal. It is native to Southern Asia. In India, it occurs in dry and moist deciduous forest. The tree blooms usually from July to October with little variation depending on localities. The flowers look breathtaking with 5 to 8 white petals at the end of brilliant orange corolla tube. The fruit is round capsule bilobed, each lobe containing a single seed. It is a mysterious plant which blooms at night and its flowers emit a very strong delightful fragrance during whole night. The flowers fall down by early morning making the ground below a pleasing blend of white and orange. During daytime the tree looks dull and so it is called tree of sadness. It is interesting to know why Parijat flowers bloom only at night. As in human, the flowers of night blooming plants like Parijat have their internal biological clock called circadian rhythm which plays important role in determining when a flower will open and close. This circadian rhythm is regulated by a group of genes. In nocturnal flowers like Parijat, the expression of the particular gene called constants and other related genes become more active during night for initiation and progression of blooming process. Certain hormones like gibberellins, cytokinins also have role in this process. During night, cooler temperature and high humidity also create favorable conditions to open their delicate petals and release the pleasant fragrance. The flowers of plants like Parijat have evolved to open at night to attract nocturnal pollinators like moths for successful pollination as survival strategy. Its white colored flowers and strong fragrance also attract nocturnal pollinators very easily at night. Now about its mythological and cultural importance. In Indian mythological literature, Parijat is mentioned as a divine tree and is described as one of the trees that have emerged during churning of ocean. Lord Krishna is described to have confronted Indra and uprooted Parijat tree from Amaravati, capital of heaven, and planted in his own city, Dwarka, to appease his wife, Saitabhama. Traditionally, Parijat flowers are collected for religious offerings and garden. In West Bengal, Parijat flowers are offered to worship Ma Durga on the festival of Durga Puja. Now regarding its medicinal uses. Parijat is the older plant with high medicinal values. In India, every part of this plant has been used as traditional medicines to cure various ailments since ancient time. Crude extracts of different parts of this plant have been used in Ayurveda, Siddha and Unani systems of medicines. Now let us know about few important medicinal applications of Parijat plants as per available reports. Parijat leaf juice with honey is given internally to treat dry cough. Leaf juice with honey and sugar mixed with common salt is given to children to expel intestinal worms. Leaf juice also act as mild bitter tonic, laxative and as cholagogue. 
The young fresh leaves are used as tonic and for gynecological problems of women. Leaf decoction with honey is given to cure fever, malaria and blood dysentery. Drinking of leaf decoction in empty stomach reduces joint pain. The aqueous paste of leaves is used externally to treat skin problems particularly ringworm. Leaf juice is also antidote for reptile venoms and snake bite. The decoction of parijat flowers is given to treat gout and to treat dandruff. For treating piles, fresh parts of crushed parijat seeds is applied externally along with internal use of one seed per day. Its seed decoction is also used as hair tonic and to get rid of dandruff and lice. Bark decoction is used to treat bleeding gums. Root decoction is used to treat enlargement of spleen. I have mentioned these medicinal applications of Parijat for information only. So, Ayurvedic doctors or practitioners should be consulted before using it as excess dose may be very harmful. Parijat plant is unique source of useful metabolites like alkaloids, phenolics, tannins, flavonoids, glycosides, saponins, and steroids. It has been screened for a variety of pharmacological activities such as anti-arthritic, anti-inflammatory, anti-diabetic, antioxidant, antimicrobial, antalmintic, antipyretic, anti-allergic, anti-cancer, and CNS depressant activities. So, there is ample scope to isolate modern drugs from this plant after thorough investigation of its bioactivity, mode of action, toxicity, and after proper standardization and clinical studies. Further, studies also required in case of crude extracts of different parts of Parijat plant used in traditional medicine for safety and efficacy. As far as its other uses are concerned, its wood is moderately hard and used for boarding. The decoction of orange-colored tubes of its flowers can be used to dye cotton and silk fabrics by adding alum or lemon juice. Its bark can be used as tanning material. In Assamese culinary recipes, its dried flowers and fried young leaves are used. Native people of Tripura predict weather and rainfall variation through flowering phenology of Parijat tree. Lastly, I will discuss how Parijat plant can be grown easily. It can be grown in areas with a wide range of rainfall patterns including dry and semi-arid conditions. For it, loamy soils are the best, but it can be also grown in other soils. It can be propagated through seeds and stem cuttings. For raising seedlings, fresh ripe seeds are collected in the month of April, May and soaked in water for overnight before sowing. Seeds can be sown in small polybags or root trainers containing cocoa peat or potting mixture and kept moist. Seeds take about 7 to 14 days for germination. Small seedlings are carefully pricked and transplanted in bigger size bags and maintained. To propagate from stem cutting, a young healthy stem with sub to is taken from the tree and 6 to 8 inches long cuttings are prepared. Leaves from the lower half portion are removed. The bottom portion of the cuttings are dipped in rooting hormone and then inserted into the soil. Polybags or pots filled up with potting mixture should be kept ready for this purpose. The potted cuttings are covered with plastic covers to maintain moisture and humidity and kept in shed. We will see root formation after 3 to 4 weeks. After establishment of the plant, the plastic cover is removed. Later on, the plants can be transferred to bigger pots or bags and thereafter subsequent care is taken. Such plants produced from seeds or cuttings can be directly planted on the ground in suitable spot where adequate sunlight is received. The site should be free from water logging. To each plant, 
one kg farmyard manure or vermi compost should be applied twice in a year during March and August. For planting in pot, pot should be big enough at least about 16 inch in diameter with 3 to 4 drainage holes at the bottom. The pot should be filled up with mixture of garden soil and compost in equal proportion or with standard potting mixture available in the market. Such potted plants should be kept in areas where they receive direct sunlight at least 6 hours during the day. Farmyard manure or vermicompost should be applied in August and December. Pruning is required in summer before flowering once in a year to save the crown and also to encourage more flowering. Watering in summer is required. Overwatering should be avoided to prevent root rot disease. Neem oil, lemon oil or eucalyptus oil can be sprayed to control insect attack. Lastly, you should remember for successful flowering of parijat, adequate sunlight is essential, overwatering should be avoided and proper manuring is required especially before flowering season. Hope some of you can now to grow parijat plant to enjoy its captivating nighttime display and fragrance and also for its medicinal values. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel if you like my video.